to SEM and RPG-29, proving itself effective against man-portable anti-tank weapons. By identifying the source of fire, Trophy also allowed tanks to kill a Hammer's anti-tank team on one occasion. Drakatz, head of Raphael's land division, stated that it was a breakthrough because it is the first time in military history where an active defense system has proven itself in intense fighting. The 401st Brigade, equipped with Merkava MK4M tanks, alone killed between 120 and 130 Hammers fighters during the ground fighting phase of Operation Protective Edge, according to the IDF. 2023 Israel Hammers War, Edit According to Forbes, Hammers used flyers to disseminate advice for defeating the Merkava's Trophy Active Protection System. This advice included such things as firing rocket-propelled grenades from 50 yards or closer, firing several RPG rounds in quick succession, using an SPG-9, and other information. On the 16th of October, 2023, Merkavas were seen equipped with added slat armor placed above the turrets. Slat armor has proven effective in defense against a number of munitions dropped by small drones. Hammers has released video footage that suggested unsuccessful strikes against Merkavas using drones. On the 24th of May, 2024, the Al Qassam brigades reported having destroyed a Merkava MK2 using a Shawaz explosive device in the Al Qassas of neighborhood of Jabalia camp. Derivatives, edit. Following the Second Intifada the Israel Defense Forces modified some of their Merkavas to satisfy the needs of urban warfare. Merkava LIC, edit. These are Merkava Mark III Baz or Mark IV tanks, converted for urban warfare. The LIC designation stands for Low Intensity Conflict, underlining its emphasis on counterinsurgency street-to-street in a city asymmetrical type warfare of the 21st century. The Merkava is equipped with a turret 12.7mm caliber coaxial machine gun, which enables the crew to lay down fairly heavy cover fire without using the main gun, which is relatively ineffective against individual enemy combatants. Like the new remote-operated weapons station, the coaxial machine gun is fired from inside the tank without exposing the crew to small arms fire and snipers. The most sensitive areas of a tank, its optics, exhaust ports and ventilators, are all protected by a newly developed high-strength metal mesh to prevent explosive charges being planted there. Rubber whip pole markers with lead tips and a driver's rear-facing camera have been installed to improve navigation and maneuverability in an urban environment by day or by night. Merkava Tank Pulance, Edit This section does not cite any sources. Please help improve this section by adding citations to reliable sources. Unsourced material may be challenged and removed. May 2024, learn how and when to remove this message. Some Merkava tanks are fitted with full medical and ambulance abilities while retaining their armament, but carrying less ammunition than the standard tank, having both ammunition racks in the rear removed. The cabin area is converted for carrying injured personnel and includes two stretchers and life support medical station systems supplemented by a full medical team complement to operate under combat conditions with a Merkava battalion. The vehicle retains its rear door to facilitate evacuation under fire, and can provide cover fire forward slash fire support to infantry. The tank ambulance is not an unarmed ambulance and consequently is not protected by the Geneva Convention's provisions regarding ambulances, but it is far less vulnerable to accidental or deliberate fire than an ambulance or armored personnel carrier. Merkava IFV Neymar, Edit This section does not cite any sources. Please help improve this section by adding citations to reliable sources.
Unsourced material may be challenged and removed. October 2023. Learn how and when to remove this message. Main article, Neymar. Neymar, Hebrew, Leopard, which is also an abbreviation of Nagmash, APC, Merkava, is an infantry fighting vehicle based on the Merkava Mark IV chassis. In service since 2008, the vehicle was initially called Nimra, Hebrew, Leopardus, but later renamed to Neymar. Neymar is equipped with a Samson Remote Controlled Weapon Station, RCWS, armed with either a .50 M2 Browning heavy machine gun or a MK-19 automatic grenade launcher. It also has a 7.62mm mag machine gun, 60mm mortar and smoke grenades. Like the Merkava Mark IV, it is optimized for high level of crew survival on the battlefield. The Neymar has a three-man crew, commander, driver, and RCWS gunner, and may carry up to nine infantrymen and a stretcher. An ambulance variant can carry two casualties on stretchers and medical equipment. The Golani Brigade used two Neymar IFVs during Operation Cast Lead. During Operation Protective Edge more than 20 vehicles were operated with great success and post-operation analysis recommended procuring more of them. Merkava ARV Nimura, edit. This section does not cite any sources. Please help improve this section by adding citations to reliable sources. Unsourced material may be challenged and removed. May 2024, learn how and when to remove this message. The Merkava Armored Recovery Vehicle initially called Neymar, Hebrew, Leopard, but subsequently renamed Nimra, Hebrew, Leopardus, is an armored recovery vehicle based on a Merkava Mark III or IV chassis. It can tow disabled tanks and carries a complete Merkava backup power pack that can be changed in the field in under 90 minutes. Merkava Howitzer Sholef, edit. This section needs additional citations for verification. Please help improve this article by adding citations to reliable sources in this section. Unsourced material may be challenged and removed. April 2019, learn how and when to remove this message. Two prototypes of Sholef, Slammer. Hebrew slang for gunslinger, 155mm self-propelled howitzer with an automatic loading system were built by Saltam in 1984-86. The 45-ton vehicle had a long 155mm gun barrel giving a range of 45 plus km using GPS, inertial navigation, and an internal fire control computer. It was also capable of direct fire while on the move. It never entered production. The Slammer is a heavily armored artillery gun mounted on a modified Merkava MK-1 chassis. Many of these vehicles are Merkava MK-1 that were retired after the Merkava MK-2 and Merkava MK-3 came into service. The Slammer has a long 52 caliber gun barrel that allows plus 10% range. Reload speed may be decreased to 1 for 1 minute every 10 minutes through use of an automatic loader. Ammunition racks are large. The slammer is ready for autonomous operation, without an FDC, if the target's location is known within 15 seconds of a halt, using GPS, inertial navigation, and an internal fire control computer. The Slammer 155mm self-propelled howitzer is based on a modified Merkava MBT chassis fitted with a new welded steel turret, designed by Saltam Systems. Development commenced in the 1970s. The project was considered of high national priority and incorporated the newest technological developments. Instead the Israeli Defense Forces selected an upgraded version of American M109 howitzer. The Sholef's chassis, aside from a few minor modifications, is identical to that of the Merkava MK3. 
the glasses plate is unchanged, except for the addition of a support bracket for the gun turret, which is folded down when not in use. As such, the Sholef and Merkava series share a large percentage of common components. The front left side of the chassis has a prominent exhaust louver, along with a much smaller port just in front of it. The exact function of this port is uncertain, though the soot seen around it in photos of the Sholef suggests it may be a new or additional exhaust port, or perhaps an outlet for a smoke generator. The Sholef can be ready to fire only 15 seconds after coming to a complete stop, and fire three projectiles in only 15 seconds. It is compatible with standard NATO 155mm ammunition, and a total of 75 projectiles can be stowed in one Sholef, 60 of which are ready for combat. The Sholef's 155mm forward slash 52 gun is an original design created by Sultan, though it bears a resemblance to South Africa's G5 howitzer. It has a fume extractor and muzzle brake, and is kept stationary by a travel lock while the vehicle is on the move. This gun has a maximum rate of fire of 9 rounds forward slash min and a range in excess of 40,000 m when firing an ERF BBB round. Though loaded automatically, the gun may be cycled and fire manually if the need arises. While the gun is normally carried by a travel lock as with most other self-propelled howitzers while the Sholef is on the move, the weapon is stabilized and can actually be used for direct fire while the vehicle is moving giving it much greater self-defense ability than most other vehicles of its type. A crew of four is required to fully operate the Sholef. Air conditioning and heating for the crew are provided, as is a Russian heater. The hull has the same ballistic protection as the Merkava Mk.3. The armor on the turret is sufficient to defeat small arms fire, shell splinters, blast over pressure, and most heavy machine gun rounds. The armor is augmented by spall liners, and the same overpressure NBC system as the Merkava Mk.3 is fitted. There is also a backup collective NBC system. The running gear consists of six unevenly spaced rubber tired road wheels on each side, and five return rollers, the second from the rear of which is noticeably larger than the others. The drive sprocket is forward, and the conspicuously spoked idler is rear. These may be partially obscured by track skirts, of which the Merkava Mk.3 has 10 panels, with a wavering underside, and little coverage of the sprocket or idler. The ordnance is fitted with a fume extractor and a double baffle muzzle brake. When traveling, the ordnance is held in position by a travel lock that is mounted on the forward part of the glasses plate and this is remotely operated from the crew compartment. Firing an ERF BBB projectile, the 100... Good. Almost finished. It's 10-10. You need to charge because the camp corners out of power. So I use this as uh, emergency camp quarters because I have another one that will buy like seven to eighty dollars. Old uh, CX. But now it's ten ten. Now the heating, uh, the heat will get up. So I have to finish now. So I will charge in my camera. I think I will go out shopping. Buy a little uh, milk and yogurts. 